Okay, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be making some um, a, a poke bowl for lunch. So what we're going to do first is just get some of the sheep's head that I caught the other day. Um, I'm going to really quick do a inspection for worms again. I don't think there are any. Um, yeah. No obvious worms. So we're just going to start out by cubing this up. So put it into cubes. Okay. And we have our fish here. So I'm just gonna do a quick marinade for this. Uh, I'm not gonna measure anything out super much uh, exact. I'm just gonna record it for the sake of calorie counting. But I'm not gonna be um, really going for any proportions or anything in specific uh, particular. So we're gonna have a little bit of sesame oil. Uh, not a lot, because a little bit goes a long way, and that's. How many grams is that? 2.5. We're gonna add some soy sauce. Rice vinegar. And just some, some of this red pepper, nice tasty. Uh, I got this at the Korean supermarket. It's just some red pepper flakes. You can do regular red pepper flakes. Um, I have that too, but I also have this, so I decide I'll just use it. Throw in a little bit. So, and now we're just gonna mix it up. And I'm gonna let this marinate for um, a couple hours until lunchtime, so about three hours. You can do this for an hour, maybe up to a day. I'm not really sure, I've never done this, but I guess it depends on how mild you want the fish to be. The longer you um, marinate it, obviously, the longer it will, uh, or the more of the seasoning it will absorb. So that's what it is now. I can smell the sesame oil now, which smells amazing. But um, yeah, we're just gonna let this marinate uh, until lunchtime, and I'll get back to you when, uh, when that is. Okay, everybody, we're back. So now we're just gonna go ahead and cut the toppings for our um, poke bowls. So it's been a couple hours since I was marinating that fish, and again, like I said, it's time for lunch, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut some toppings. I really like cucumbers, so I'm going to cut some cucumbers. I was debating whether I want to cut them into cubes or slices, but I think since I'm planning on eating this with chopsticks, it's probably going to be easier with uh, cu um, cutting them like this into thin slices. So I'm just going to cut this, and uh, the other toppings I'm planning on doing are some onion, uh, pickled red onion, avocado, and um, anything else. I think that's all I really have on hand. There's lots of different toppings that you can choose from, but I'm just going to choose from the stuff that I have on hand without having to go to the store. And the knife that I'm using, I don't think I've uh, recorded a video of me using this knife yet, but it's a Chinese vegetable cleaver, which I really enjoy using. It's a lot of fun. You can scoop up foods like this and um, just move them off to the side. So there's the cucumbers cut up, and then now we have some white onion. Cut these nice and thin. All right, the cutting board's sliding around a bit, but that's okay. And. enough or do I want more? Let's cut one more. Ah, no, that's enough. Uh, you can call me a lot of things and one of them is indecisive. I don't know what I was going for there, but depends. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that was dumb. So uh, we have our white onion here and then we just need to cut the avocado 
and we should be ready to start plating up our bowl. I have a few other things for toppings, but yeah, we can get to those when I get there. And then finally we have the avocado. So let's go ahead and peel this and cut this into slices. Slide this guy. All right, there we go. Get all up. Set this aside. Okay. So now we can start the assembly. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my bowl of rice, and then we'll get the fish, and that should be everything. Okay. It's exciting. Exciting for sure. Okay, so here we have our rice, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on there. Just a little bit, just so it's not plain. Uh, grab a fork, fluff it up a bit. Get it nice and fluffy. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna start assembling. So first, let's start with the fish. We have some of the fish that we marinated earlier. And like I said, it's only been a couple of hours. Um, skinning out on a slotted spoon. I don't want to get any really liquidy, any any liquid rather, um, into this bowl. I just did, but whatever. So we're just gonna go ahead, lay the fish over here. It's nice and pretty. I ended up adding a little bit more fish off camera. And I think I'm regretting that now because looking at the proportion wise, there's lots of fish, but I guess if you're like at a, hang on, I guess you're, if you're at a store, you would want more fish in terms of like getting the most out of your money. But proportion wise, it looks a little off. And then next let's layer the cucumber. Okay, so cucumber goes here. That marinade smells so good. It's so hard to mess up anything with sesame oil in terms of like smell. Sesame oil just smells so good. Um, bunch of cucumber there. And actually with the fish, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some of this togarashi, um, no sorry, not togarashi, furikake, which is just basically rice, um, Japanese rice seasoning, just to make it a little bit more interesting. So there's bits of seaweed here, bonato flakes, uh, sesame seeds, and yep, just a little bit of that on the fish to make it look more pretty. A few more cucumbers, and then we have our white onion here. Uh, where do we want to put this? Let's go right here, that's fine. So some white onions. Okay, and then we have our avocado. Maybe I should have put the avocado next to the fish. Yeah, I'm gonna move the white onions over a touch. Put some avocado here, like that. And more white onion, because I love white onion. Um, 
Let's see. We want some color, so. Maybe some pickled red onion on this other side, or should this go in the middle? I wonder. Some pickled red onion, maybe add some sourness too. Uh, this pickled red onion that I made, it's very easy. It's just water, basically equal parts water, vinegar, and a little bit of salt. And you just throw, uh, boil it really quick. Then pour that liquid over the red onions. You have pickled red onion. So you have some pickled red onion, jalapeno in there. Um, yeah. So throw this over there for some color. And some, maybe some spice. And then... I guess we'll top it with... Uh, hang on, let me grab a little more cucumber. Alright. And then top it in the center with our shredded... Seaweed. What do you guys think? Not bad, huh? Not too bad. So we're gonna go ahead, take some pictures of this, and then we're gonna go sit down and eat. So here's our dish all finished up. So as you can see, there's the white onion, the pickled red onion with the uh, jalapenos, the cucumbers, shredded seaweed, avocado, and the fish that we marinated. This looks really good, so let's, uh, let's go sit down and eat. The first time I had poke was in New DC a couple years ago with my friend. Um, and I really liked it. I think at the time I had tuna, spicy tuna. Uh, so we'll see how this tastes. We're gonna start off with a bit of the fish. It's good, it's really good actually. I think it could be a little saltier, maybe. So maybe if I marinated it a bit longer, it would be a bit better, but that's really good. I highly recommend you guys try that marinade. You saw why I didn't really measure. I just kind of threw it in and it's just turned out really well. The fish is nice and soft. Um, I think the more you let the fish sit in the fridge, the better. I'm not sure if I'm super into really fresh fish. Um, I think it just tastes a bit better if you give it some time. Oh, that's spicy. I think the pickled red onion fits in this dish a lot more than I thought initially. Um, I wanna start mixing this up, getting more rice into it, but I'm really enjoying this. I think this is the best poke I've ever had. Maybe I'm biased because I made it myself, but it's just really good. It's really simple to make at home too. So if you have access to fresh fish, um, well not fresh fish, but like any sushi grade fish, um, I highly recommend you do this at home. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this with the fish that you caught on your own. 100% don't do it with freshwater fish. Um, saltwater fish, it's a little less risky, but every time you eat raw fish, you're obviously taking on, um, you're undertaking a risk, I guess. Um, so it's definitely something that you have to consider before doing. Okay. Actually, it's kind of interesting how for sushi and for like raw fish in general, I don't think I like it when it's super fresh because it's a little tough, it's a little chewy, and it's just really bland, to be honest. I think it's, it's every time I hear it, it's kind of shocking because it kind of goes against what you think naturally. It's like, oh, the fresher it is, the better. But if you give it some time, like just to, in the fridge or something, it really kind of softens up. So I think that improves the texture for me personally and you kind of get some more of the flavors the more it ages. Um, 
Mm. Like for me, yeah, that's just so soft. It's been in the fridge for two days. And I think that's kind of better than any other raw fish I've eaten. Obviously, I want to warn you guys again, I don't recommend eating fish raw. You should definitely freeze it first. That's what the FDA recommends. Uh, it kills off all the parasites. Um, there's different guidelines, like if you can freeze it below a certain temperature. Um, the time that you want to keep it frozen to kill the parasites depends on the temperature. So I think in your regular freezer, you want to freeze it for like at least a week, to be honest. Um, to make sure it's like 100% safe, at least from parasites. So, definitely don't recommend you use non-sushi grade fish. But if you do have access to sushi grade fish, I highly recommend you guys making your own poke bowls. I think it probably will end up being cheaper than going to a store. I think some things that you might miss out on are maybe some of, some of the fruit salsas or some of the sauces that you see at a lot of um, you see at a lot of poke bowl places. But I think this on its own is really good for something that you can have more regularly than going out to eat all the time. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope to see you guys on the next one.